Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be making over this bathroom right behind me. It is very tiny, but it is the most used bathroom in the house. It is right off the main living area. So not only do we use it, but our guests use it. It is also the bathroom that both the girls share. Now, I only have one before picture of the space because you know, sometimes you get very excited to start a project and you forget that you are a content creator and you should probably get some before pictures, maybe some before videos. <laughs> so I'm gonna post the one picture I have right here. Now, there's nothing majorly wrong with the bathroom. It is just boring and basic and to me, that is a problem. So in today's video, we're gonna be adding some character to this bathroom and we are going to be making it beautiful. So let's get started. If you have watched my previous home renovation projects, then this will look familiar to you. This paneling has been the number one way that I have been adding character to this 20 year old home. As I go through each room and renovate it, I'm really thinking about what I did in the previous room because I want this whole house to feel designed and cohesive. And the best way to do that is use a lot of the same elements, a lot of the same colors in each room. So this paneling not only adds character to the space and ties this room into the rest of the house, it is also very inexpensive. I am using five millimeter underlayment that you can get from the hardware store. It comes in a four foot by eight foot sheet for about $22. Then I can cut it down to whatever size I need. So I also use this product to create my full shiplap like I did in my dining room and my hallway. And to create this paneling that I'm doing, I cut it down to four feet by four inches and I am hanging it vertically on the wall. Now I am going to just quickly go over how I put this paneling up, but if you want a more detailed tutorial, like I've said, I've done this in previous spaces throughout my home where I went into more detail and I will leave a link in the description below to those videos. The hardest part of painting a bathroom is always getting behind the toilet. So to make my job a little bit easier, what I did is I painted the wall and I also pre-painted my paneling. That way, once I put the paneling up behind the toilet, everything was already painted. One of my favorite things about this paneling is that it is only five millimeters thick. So if you have a pre-built house like I do, it fits perfectly behind all of your electrical and perfectly on top of all of your existing moldings. So you do not need to remove any of that stuff. I just mark my pieces of wood and cut them out with my jigsaw and they fit perfectly behind your electrical switches. You will definitely want to put a top molding on top of this paneling and you can pick out anything from the hardware store and go as decorative as you want. I just decided to go with a nice simple flat piece of wood that was about twice as thick as my paneling. Once your paneling is all up, you want to go in and caulk all your corners and where your paneling meets the trim and your walls. You do not want to forget this step. This will give your paneling a beautiful, clean, professional look. Now in this room, I put my paneling closer together than I did in my other room. So I had to go in with an artist brush and get in all those cracks. If you wanna avoid this, put them a little bit further apart like I did in the other rooms. I just felt like for the bathroom, I wanted my spaces to be a little bit closer together. And I am painting all of the paneling and all of the trim in this bathroom in Sherwin-Williams Greek Villa in a semi-gloss. I painted the walls above my paneling Sherwin-Williams White Duck. This is the same wall color that I've been using throughout my home. I just feel like it is a beautiful, warm white color. And these are my favorite hooks from Hobby Lobby. You can add some little labels in here. I choose to keep them blank but they are made of cast iron, so they're super heavy. They are perfect if you want to hang them in the hallway for backpacks or in a bathroom for towels. They are just so cute. 
and I actually get my towels from Brooklinen and I want to thank Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. High quality bedding and towels can be really expensive and Brooklinen gives you the quality and comfort at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. They believe that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup. I ordered Brooklinen's Move In Bundle. You actually save 14% by ordering the bundle deal and Brooklinen is giving my viewers $20 off a $100 purchase when you use code Julie at checkout. These towels are so soft and perfect for everyday use. This is Brooklinen's most absorbent bath towel. So it is especially perfect for a kid's bathroom. So in Brooklinen's classic move-in bundle, you get four bath towels, two hand towels, four washcloths, and a bath mat. And you can even mix and match different colors. So I ordered my large bath towels in white and my smaller towels and my mat bath mat in the smoke color because those tend to get a little bit more dirty and I also thought it would be a nice accent color in this bathroom. They use long staple Turkish cotton because it produces the strongest, smoothest yarn for soft, durable towels. And they use the tight Z weave, which means there is less pulling and peeling on your towels. So if you are looking for some amazingly soft and absorbent towels, definitely check out Brooklinen. And of course, I will have all of the links in the description below. Now this is a very tiny bathroom and we have to make the most of this space, but I also want it to look cute. These are some of my favorite wooden shelves from Hobby Lobby. I simply painted them the same color as my wall and just lightly distressed them. That is a trick I use when I want some extra storage, but I don't really want the shelving to stand out a lot. So up here, you can't really reach anything. So I just have, you know, a bunch of cute stuff, but here I have Q-tips in a cute container. And then I want to roll up my extra hand towel and I'm going to stick it in this cute basket. How pretty does that look? And then I have my extra washcloths right here and I'm just going to put them on top. Let's see, there we go. And actually one of them, I'm gonna take them. Let me show y'all what I have going on right here. So I have three hooks that I put right here. One has this basket that I just painted white and it fits three rolls of toilet paper in it. And then I'm gonna take one of my washcloths and I'm just going to hang it right here on this hook. So not only does it look cute, but it's functional. And then right here, this is not functional. I just have this cute little bath sign and this little bit of greenery. Unfortunately, the toilet is kind of like a dome shape so I can't put anything on there so I had to make sure I had storage up here and this keeps all these towels and all this extra toilet paper and q-tips and all that stuff out of the cabinets where we can use the cabinets to hide the stuff that we don't want to see. So this little area is done and I think it is looking so cute. I feel like this smoke color was the perfect choice. So y'all let me know what y'all think about my color selection. Now I just have a few more small projects left to do and then this bathroom will be ready for the final reveal. I think the shape of this light fixture is pretty similar to anything that you would purchase in the store right now. So instead of getting a new light fixture, I'm just going to update this one. So I'm gonna remove all the globes and then I'm going to paint the light fixture. I'm using black chalk paint just because it sticks to anything and it gives it that nice matte look. And I'm not even removing the light fixture off the wall, y'all. I'm just gonna paint it right here on the wall. And then I purchased these adorable, cute, girly, vintage looking glass globes from Kilgore's Antiques. And I am going to put these on my brand new painted light fixture. And I absolutely love the way that this light fixture came out. 
The cabinets in this bathroom were already white, but as you can see, they definitely needed a fresh coat of paint. So I decided to paint them the same color that I painted the wood trim in the room. So I'm gonna do them in Sherwin-Williams Greek Villa in a semi-gloss. I've also been trying to save money where I can by just painting the existing hardware. So all the hardware in the house, I have been painting with Rust-Oleum, black in a satin finish and i can tell you this is one of the small things that i have done that i feel like has made such a huge transformation in the house just going from room to room and having all the hardware the same color i also installed a new faucet well i didn't hire somebody to do it but I love the vintage look and feel of this and I especially love that it has a hot and cold marker since this is a kid's bathroom so they know exactly which one is hot and cold. And I just ordered this off of Amazon and I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. I tried to add as much character and charm and decor to this space as possible without making it feel overcrowded or over designed. I still wanted it to look very clean and very bright and I feel like I definitely accomplished that. You will probably notice some decor in here that I have done on previous thrift flip videos and I absolutely love the way that this light fixture came out. So before you go spend money on a new light fixture, definitely see if it's something maybe you could paint and change out the glass globes on it to update it. Also wanted to add some special personalized touches to this bathroom. So I have this adorable little picture of my girls. This was Ren's first ponytail. I also did not spend very much money at all in this bathroom. I mainly made it over using wood and paint. Paint can definitely completely transform a space and it does not take a lot of money. And most of the decor in this room was thrifted, of course. All right guys, what did y'all think about my small bathroom makeover? I hope it has inspired you not to forget about the small spaces because with a little bit of paint and a little bit of wood, I was able to add a ton of character to the space. And I can tell you so far, every guest that we've had come over that has used the bathroom has come out and said something about it. They absolutely love it. And do not forget if you are in the market to purchase new towels, literally guys, the softest towels that I have ever felt. Brooklinen is giving my viewers $20 off a $100 purchase. Just use code Julie at checkout. And I think the bundle deal is not only amazing for yourself, but also we make a great wedding gift or graduation gift. So I will have the links in the description below. Y'all make sure to check that out once again. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all were inspired. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.